right, so we're going to be continuing with lesson 522, which is completing the squared. So as we talked about using tiles to do this, so we're going to go here, we've got our tile for x squared, we've got a new problem, and we're going to try to do both exact and approximate answers, we're going to try to rewrite things, figuring it all out, all that stuff. So I need x and 6 of these, x squared and 6 x's for the first one, and I need one more, that's only 5, and then I need 5 tiles. So again, just really quickly so that we remember, this, positive, negative, and <coughs> together they make zero. Get back to <coughs> now again, I'm trying to build a square. So I'm going to split these up half and half. Try to help me build my square. And then I need to fill this in. And so as I try to bring this over, I do not have enough. I need four more so I can make this square. So if I put four more on, I've changed my number. So if I add four more, which I'm going to do because I have to, because I need to make a square. And so to do that, I need four more. But these four weren't there. So I need to not add them. That's not okay. They can't come from nowhere. They have to be accounted for properly, if you will. And so what I need to do is have it be the same. It needs to equal 1x squared, 6x tiles, and 5 1 tiles. And right now, it doesn't. There's these extras. So I need them to be gone. So the only, because the only thing I can actually add is 0. But if I add this... So if I add positive 4 and subtract negative 4 at the same time, then I'm adding 0. And so as long as I do that, that's okay. And so then I, these ones can go there, and then I'll have 4 leftovers, but they're negative. So like last time when I had my, I'm going to go ahead and try it. And again, I'll have a square here. It's a little bigger than last time. My little square up in the corner. And I have one, three this way, and three this way, giving me nine in this corner here. And then I have the negatives over here, four leftovers that are negative. Now, the way it's set up for our key is that if we shade it in, it's positive. So I'm going to shade this in. That makes it positive. And if I don't shade it in, it's negative. Okay. This is a 1, there's an x squared, these are x's, and that's what I have. So these are negative. And so what I end up with here is I have x plus 3 squared minus 4 equals 0. And that's my completed square. Okay. Does that make sense? Try to follow that. So we built it, we had to get 4 from out of nowhere. And so since they can't come from out of nowhere, when I added them, I also had to remove them. It's a weird thing. So what I like to do over here is I know I'm going to take the 6 and split it in half to get two 3s. Right? That's what's going to happen to it. And then since it's 3 times 3, I end up with a 9. Okay? So I end up with 9. That's what I need here so that this will be able to be built. But I only had five. So one way to think about that is a little bit funky. So if I just, I like to kind of think of this as scribble. So I need that to be nine. I already have five. So I needed to subtract nine from five. So my scribble goes over here as well. Let me get back to scribble. So scribble. And I so I add it and remove it, and this becomes x plus 3 squared, like it was supposed to be, and 5 minus 9 is negative 4. That's kind of the algebra way to do it without building it. Because I know this needs to be 9, so I need to remove the 9 that I have to use. Then I have to think about, well, how many more do I need? or That's what it is. Does that make sense? Sort of. 
you'll see I got there the same way. So let's try the next one. We'll try it with algebra first and then we'll compile second. Okay, so like before, I still have six in the middle. And so that means it'll be split in half. 6x will get split into 3x and 3x, which means my squiggle will have to be 9. So I'm going to add 9. I'm going to use 9 tiles here. I have the 13 already, so I've changed the problem. This changes the problem. This 9 changes it. It just does. And so I need to remove that 9 so that it doesn't change it. So that way, effectively, I've added nothing. And so this is still equal to zero. So this factors into x plus three squared, because squared on the left, squared on the right, double in the middle. And then I've removed nine, and 13 minus nine is four. 13 to 9 is four. And so there's my completed square. So let's get this back up here. We've got our tiles. And now we need 13. So I've got 13 tiles. So one, two, three. Yep, 13. Yeah, that's 10, 20. So 13. And so I'm going to build my square. And this time I'm going to have leftovers, not extra. So in the previous problem, I needed more than I had. And in this problem, I have the four extras. So it's very similar, except for now I have four extras instead of borrowing four. So, do, 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 do. I'm going to write nine right here instead of drawing them. But I'll just draw the X's here. And shade, 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 shade. This is how I do it. They're shaded. See? All positive. Because it's too much trouble to do them all in. That looks terrible. And then I have four left over. Which are always positive. Which are positive. Okay. And so that gives me x plus 3 squared plus 4 equals 0. Questions? Now, this next one, E, C, we only need two X's, and we have five negatives. This gets a little bit funky with the tiles. So, let's see what we can do here. So, even though I can kind of build this, it makes no sense for that to be negative. It's ridiculous, that can't be negative. So, because it has to be a positive, which means I need to, because that this has to be one, a positive one, can't be a negative. That's wrong, because negative times a negative won't make a, a positive times a positive will not make a negative here, to make any sense. So I have to, so I have to use five, but I can't just use one of them and put it here. So that means I need to introduce zero, so I'm introducing nothing, see how it's nothing? This one goes there, and this one joins the leftovers. Okay. And so, I end up with, let me draw, let me draw in. Scribble, scribble, scribble. And I have five left over. Actually, six left over. Look at my lovely squares that I'm drawing here. Six left over. And so I end up with x plus one squared minus six equals zero. Let's algebra that out. So I start by splitting this in half. I need a scribble and a minus five. Those are there and I have another scribble. And so I need this to be this times this, which is one. See how it's three times three, nine. 3 times 3, 9. 
which are all the same. So this is going to be 1. It's got to be positive. But I can't add 1. It changes everything. So I, over here I have to subtract 1. And that's equal to 0. And so this becomes x plus 1 squared. 5 minus 1 is negative 6 equals 0. That's very strange. Okay. This very last problem is a challenge question. We're going to use the algebra tiles to rewrite this. So let's see what we can do. Bring this up as much as I can. Um, I don't think I can go much further. Let me think. Okay. So I need two x squareds and 12 x's. So I have six there. Seven ones. There they are. And seven of these. Okay. So, because I have two of these, I'm going to actually try to build two squares. Which means I need to split these up evenly, six and six. So, so six, that one, and that one. So what I've done, the seven kind of sits there. It kind of sits here. So what I've done is I've taken it and I've taken two out. It's 77 sitting here. Okay, so I factored this two out. That's algebraically what I've done. So I split it into two groups. Each group is going to be x plus 3. Right, x plus 3, x plus 3, which means I need 9 in each of these. So this number is going to be a 9. Oops, that's three for color. I think the purple does a better contrast. Okay, that's what that has to be, which will give me this. Now I don't have nine. I mean, I only have seven. So, so I need 18. So I can put nine here and nine there. So I need 18 total. So I'm actually adding a total of 18 because I'm adding nine to this and nine to that. So I'm adding nine twice, if you will. So I add 9 twice, which means I need to remove it twice from 7, which is really weird. But if I add 9, I have to take it back away. So that's because that's 0. And that was only so I don't have enough, but that's the idea. And so because I'll get 9 here and 9 there. My drawing is I have nine, three, and three, and x squared twice. So two of them, which means I have to take nine away twice or take away eighteen. So 7, take away 9 is negative 2, take away 9 again is negative 11. And there's my graphic form. It then tells me to solve. This is the first one it's asked me to solve. So I'll go ahead and solve that. We subtract 11 from both sides, add 11 to both sides. Divide by 2 because it's outside, so I need to divide it first. Okay. Then I'm going to take the square root, plus or, so plus or minus, square root of 11 over 2. And so x equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 11 over 2. And again, I subtract 11 from both sides. We just got to take it in front. Then I grab my calculator. Because it wants 
I'm definitely, these are exact answers. I'm finished. But I want decimals because they make more sense to my brain, which is already going a little crazy right now. So on negative 3 plus the square root of a fraction, whoops, of a fraction, whoops, there, the square root of a fraction of 11 divided by 2. The approximately equal to negative 0 0.655, rounding up, and x is also approximately equal to 11 over, by the way, is 4.5. No. 11 over 2 is 5.5. .5. I don't know what I'm doing mentally. Sorry about that. There you go. Question. Stop asking me. We'll see you guys soon.